What's mobbing with it, man? Y'all know what time it is. God bless y'all in Jesus' name. You know what we're going to do. We're going to get straight to it. Proverbs chapter 12, verse 25. Anxiety in a man's heart weighs him down, but a good word makes him glad. Man, this is a blessing when you really like understand this passage and why we need to be very mindful in, when it comes to what anxiety is. Anxiety, you know, is worrying about things that are unforeseen and things to come. You know what I'm saying? Like maybe you're worried about, you know, a, a particular situation that you're in, you know what I'm saying? When it comes to not being able to know the outcome. And so you create this false reality within your mind of what things are going to be. You know what I'm saying? When you finally get to that bridge and have to cross it. Um, what happens is when we begin to do that, we make things worse than they are. And especially for us as believers, what we begin to do is anxiety. It breeds doubt. It breeds fear. And the same thing that it breeds is the same thing that Satan is going to feed off of with you. He's going to try to bring confusion. He's going to try to plague your mind. He's going to try to tell you how bad things are. He's going to cast doubt, you know what I'm saying? To where even at times you'll be questioning the faith that you have in Christ, you know what I'm saying? And that's where, you know, the ultimate result of these things, when they become deep rooted, when you become to give water to, you know, that, that seed of anxiety and fear, you know, and what it breeds when it comes to doubt and all of these things, you know what I'm saying? So just be mindful of that, man, us as believers, man. And what I encourage today in understanding when you begin to have anxiety, man, cast that anxiety onto the father, man, really get in prayer, really ask the father to give you a peace that surpasses understanding, ask him to help you deal with, you know, just being able to be okay with not knowing what's going to happen. We're not going to know everything that's going to happen in life. Life has a tendency to throw, you know, punches at us and we just got to roll with them. Sometimes we, I remember one time I came out and had a bunch of things to do and my tire was flat on my car. Um, in the driveway. You know what I'm saying? That's life. So do not allow anxiety to override the faith that you have in Christ. You know what I'm saying? Do not allow anxiety to plague your mind and begin to believe what Satan will begin to do when he fills your mind with these lies and all of the things that are going to happen. And it says in the passage as well, and this is something that is very key. It says anxiety weighs a man's heart down, you know, and we understand what that means. You know, anxiety also can begin to breed depression. You know, all of these things. We know anxiety is attached to a lot of things that will begin to bring us down, weigh us down, have us not walking in our purpose. The good word is the gospel. So whether it's a minister, whether it's your pastor, you know what I'm saying? Whether it's your spouse, you know, your children, whatever it is, you know what I'm saying? The good word, it says a good word makes them glad. Well, this good word can be brought forth from, you know, a friend, a spouse, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, a pastor, whoever. But the true good word and that is being brought forth, even if it is one of these individuals, the good word, the world will try to take the good word and, you know, allow it to be something of affirmation that has to do with something to stroking an ego or, you know, everything's going to be okay. And that's fine. You know what I'm saying? And, and I'm saying that, but let's get to the true good word. And that is the gospel. That is the scriptures. You know what I'm saying? And so that's what is pertaining to the good word. When we are talking about this passage, it is the gospel. It is the scriptures. It is the word of God in allowing us to understand there is no reason for us to be anxious or have these thoughts or even have anxiety, knowing that God is going to keep his promises and be by our side and never forsake us through the times of need. And let us be mindful that that good word, the gospel, the scriptures, and even when it comes to affirming us and who Christ is, God will use anything to do so. It may be, or like I said, it may be a spouse, a minister, a pastor. It may be an individual, a complete stranger that we don't even know. That all of a sudden you'll you'll get that, that word of affirmation when it comes from the word of God. Or you'll get that, hey, everything's going to be all right, but make sure that you turn to Christ. You know what I'm saying whatever it may be, 
But we need to make sure that we tie it down as believers and understanding what that good word is that makes a man glad. That good word is the gospel. That good word is the scriptures. You know what I'm saying? So let us not get beside ourselves when we're going into these things or we're beginning to put too much thought, um, you know, in a lot of the time be myself being, you know, sometimes I overthink things. I'm, I'm very analytical. I overanalyze a situation and it'll cause you to begin to become anxious. You begin to have anxiety about something because you're, you're wanting to know the outcome of something that is unforeseen, but that's what such the blessing of us being believers and us being children of God and knowing that it wasn't meant for us to know the outcome. Because that would take away the need for us in having faith in Christ if we knew the outcome of everything. And we could then, once again, be prideful in saying that we've done something to get us there. We've put forth the effort to get us where we were. We uh, pulled through when it came to the anxiety and all of that. And yes, there is a piece of us that has to put in the work. But in all reality, it is the Lord that is pushing us through and pulling us through and keeping us through these times to where we may have been anxious or these times that we may have had doubt, you know, and everything that anxiety begins to, you know, breed. So praise God for where we are in understanding that that good word, the gospel, the scriptures, that is where we gather our affirmation from and being children of God. Hallelujah, man. Y'all be blessed in Jesus name, man. Y'all know what it is, man. Hog my ministries, pray for my hood. We're going to get straight to it.